Hello, Dave here with emergencyprepguy.com. I appreciate you stopping by. In today's video, I wanted to do one more update on my heated automatic watering system that feeds water to the rabbit hutch, the two quail hutches, and the chicken coop that you see behind me here. Um, today, it's about uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. It's still only about 25 degrees outside. I live at about 4,900 elevation uh, in eastern Idaho, and so it gets really cold here and stays that way for a long time. And so I had to build a system that would, especially since I was w running the water such a long distance, that would hold up uh, during the cold weather and not freeze. And so I'm, I'm super excited about it. Um, there's a few little things I would do different, and I'll show you those. Uh, but just real quick, let's do an update, and I'll show you how it's working. Okay, hopefully I won't shake the camera too much as I'm walking here. Here's the uh, watering system. I still haven't painted the front. I'll eventually get to that. Probably won't do it now till next spring. If you haven't seen my previous videos, what this is, is this is a insulated box that's elevated. There's a 50 gallon barrel of uh, water inside with a circulation pump that runs water. That The water goes out that pipe to all of the rabbits and then comes back and goes into the top of the 50 gallon barrel that's inside that. The floor and all four of the walls and the ceiling are all insulated. The floor and the walls are insulated with two and a half inch thick fiberglass board and the top has a styrofoam two inch uh, thick uh, insulation board in there. Um, but here we are, it's 25 degrees. Let me show you this little rabbit's water here. Hi girl, how are you? If I can get in here and you still see me, if I squirt that, you can see. But you got plenty of water coming out of there. Um, if you can see below here, there is a little bit of icicles hanging down below that, but not bad. But nothing's froze up as far as their ability to get the water. So that's super exciting. Then if we go over here to the quail. Hi guys. Before I go in there, I want to show you below. There is a little bit of ice. Hopefully you can see that hanging down just a little bit from below that water. If I was to do this again, which I, um, what I should have probably done is had that hose come in. Uh, because if you can see here, see it works great. Nothing's freezing up even though it's so cold. But there is a little bit of ice build up here. If I was doing it over again, probably what I would do is is uh like was my original plan actually was to have the the bar actually inside in here um at least where the where the water dispensers are um so that there wouldn't be anything for the ice to build up on this being so close to the wire um i've had ice get all the way up to here and i've and i've broken up broke it off it's been multiple days without going above freezing and the ice buildup really isn't that bad. Um, one time it got where it was almost up here and I just came in here and chipped it out. But these units here, you can see, uh, they don't, uh, oh, got another plane. Those, those, these don't seem to freeze up at all, which is awesome. Over here with the chucker partridges. Hi guys. Let them go in. You can see in here. Well, let me show you underneath again first. There's a little bit more ice hanging down. Um, if you can see that. 
underneath than there than there was for the uh, for the quail. Um, and you can see there's a little bit of ice built up here, a little bit here. These all function just wonderful. Great. Um, and I have had to chip the ice off of this once. So that's that's how that looks. Okay, so now let's go over here and look at the chickens. Hi, ladies. They're kind of staying in their run. Oh, she wants to be petted. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? You want to be petted too? Okay, hi. Uh, you can see they've been staying in here more because of the snow. Um, if you look down here, you can see these all work great too. There is a little bit of ice built up down here. Sometimes this builds up with ice. You can see a little bit of ice on there. But these haven't been freezing up at all. And the ice hasn't been a problem. I haven't had to chip any away in here. Maybe maybe if this builds up, you know, higher, I'll have to in the future. Well, since I'm in here already, I think I'm gonna come over here and just show you this feeder again. Uh, just real quick. Holds a 50 uh, pound bag of feed, a little more than that actually. And you can see they're just not spilling anything. I just really like the design. They can all reach it and get in there. The food comes around. Um, you could have the food a little bit higher than I did there. That was a little bit lower overkill probably on having the level of food a little low in there. Uh, so if, if I ever have any young chickens in here, I might have to put a step ladder here so they can reach in there a little better. But anyway, it works very good. I really like it. And with the automatic feeders on both of the quail hutches where I can fit a whole 50 pound bag of feed in there too. I really don't have to feed or water the chickens or the quail or the chucker partridges at all. Only about every month, month and a half or however long it takes them to go through the, the food. And with the uh, rabbits, um, sometimes I fill these up. Sometimes if they're looking a little chubby, I'll just feed them every day. Uh, it's been really cold, so I'm not worried about them eating. So I filled them up right at the moment. So really, really low maintenance. Um, if you saw in my previous video, I had that yellow and black cord I originally had up inside the insulated box. I was worried about the humidity, so I put it down here. Um, and I'll lift this up just so that you can see in the top the water barrel there it's uh you probably hear the water running a little bit in there it's just working like a champ i really like it i hope that was interesting again i appreciate you watching this video all the way to the end don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when we do future uh, videos and share it on your social media channels thank you so much and we'll talk to you in the next video